Okay, so if an ICP OES isn't enough, you come and use the big daddy of atomic spectroscopy, which is really an ICP MS. So remember that ICP stands for inductively coupled plasma, and now we're going to be detecting mass spectroscopy or the mass of the atoms. So we start off here, a really important instrument for scientists, especially if you're doing a lot of samples, is an auto sampler. You can load up 100 samples at once. You're going to suck the material out of the sample, put it into a nebulizer, create a spray which enters a plasma that heats the samples again to very, very high temperatures. But this time you're not interested in exciting them so that the electrons fall back down and emit light. You're interested in exciting them so they ultimately ionize. Once they're ionized, they transfer to a mass spectrometer which has pressures that are extremely low because those ions are going to zoom down very long channels that have magnetic fields. And if the ion's size is not right, it's actually going to smash into the wall of this very long tube, or it's going to go straight through the tube if it's at the perfect mass for the magnetic fields that you've designed. And that's actually something called a quadrupole mass spectrometer, where you use magnetic fields to selectively filter particular masses of ions over others. So inside this instrument, you're scanning over many, many masses, and you're getting a spectrum. Whenever an ion gets through that long channel, it actually hits a detector that makes a current. And that way, you can measure both the mass of the ion and how much is there through the ion channel detection. So mass ICP-MS is also very good for metals detection. It's going to have much lower detection limits than ICP-OES, but the downside is that it needs a lot more care and feeding. This system is at pressures of 10 to the minus 7 torr, or more or less what you might find in outer space. So you have really big complicated pumps. And it actually suffers from being too good. You need a really clean laboratory to operate it because you're going to detect really low concentrations of things that might be contaminating your sample accidentally. But in any case, ICPMSs are really great instruments for measuring metal concentrations. If you have really clean samples, you need low detection limits, and you have a good analytical environment to operate in.